Hey everybody, so some of you may have noticed that on this channel I've been doing a lot of astronomy stuff from basically my telescope to like upgrades that I got for it, videos and pictures of some of the uh, the stuff that I've taken. So I'm, uh, I'm actually getting pretty more interested in astronomy myself. Um, I've always wondered of uh, the possibilities of of um of us being from or us being descendants as much as people as much as people talk about uh religion and stuff like that I'm not going to get into the whole the whole rant on that that's not what this is about but I've always believed that uh we were descendants from from uh extraterrestrials and people on the religion side will disagree with that type of thing but it kind of, some of the stories that you hear about actually makes you question about what the ancient ancient Egyptians experienced with the uh, the people that they were referring to as gods. But I, like I said, I'm not going to go into a whole rant on that because you guys really probably don't want to hear about that. Um, so this video is just an updated video. Um, I got some new stuff for my astronomy. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video, so it's going to be a a just probably a rant video or something like that. But uh, I got a new thing in the mail today. I actually ordered it from eBay. And I know a lot of you are going to be skeptical about the authenticity of this item. But I assure you that what I'm about to show you is exactly genuine and that it's 100% real and not a fake. So anyways, around my neck is a new pendant that I picked up, and I'm actually going to take it off of my neck, or at least attempt to, because I'm wearing a hat right now. And uh, I'm going to attempt to try to take this off my neck. So what I have here is a piece of iron. <laughs> a piece of iron, as you can say, iron and nickel. And those of you that don't know what's, what's made out of iron and nickel, well, some of you that probably do know what's made out of iron and nickel will probably know what I'm about to show you. Um... This basically here is what I got in the mail today. And what it is, is it's a meteorite. It's not from China. It's actually a guy from here in the U.S. who um, goes out and gets these and does a bunch of stuff. And this here is supposed to be a meteorite. And the funny thing about this thing is, and the real interesting about this thing is is that this little piece of iron and nickel is older than all of us on this planet. Which is surprisingly, because it's just this little piece of iron which came from uh, outer space and crashed on this planet back many uh, thousands of years ago. Um, I'll actually put a description of where this meteorite, uh, where this little meteorite came from. Um, but anyways, it was supposedly part of the, the, the crash part of, I believe like, uh, the 1572 or something like that. Um, he is a certified, uh, he, he is a genuine guy. I looked him up online and did my research on him and, uh, he's legit as can be. Um, and he's not basically taking iron and, and, and melting it into the shape of this uh, thing here. But, uh, yeah, so I picked this up off of eBay for about mm, 13 bucks. Um, it's about 11.58 grams of iron and nickel. Um, and I really like it, too, you know. I mean, most people, they like, <laughs> they like the blingy stuff like gold and stuff like that. I mean, I got that, too, but I, I like... You know, I like to get into, I'm getting into astronomy, so I kind of wanted to try to get something, something that, uh, that I could, you know, wear and not have to worry about somebody really stealing off of me, because nobody, let's face it, nobody's going to want this. They would look at it and think it was like a, you know, a dry rock or something like that. Nobody's going to want that. Uh, but it's something that I liked, and um, I figured, why not get it? The other thing that I got was, is I picked up a uh, Next Image 5 
Uh, I picked one of those up off of eBay. Supposedly, it's brand, it's brand new. I checked the eBay seller's feedback. And, and by the way, the, the guy that I got um, this meteorite from, he uh, had thousands, thousands of of good feedback. He had, I think he had all, all thousand, all good feedback. So, um, he's built up a pretty good reputation for selling people on, and buying genuine products on eBay. Um, even if it was fake, which I highly doubt that it is still cool to have Just it's something to have. And like I said, I'm not going to complain for like 13 bucks. It's pretty cool. The way it looks. Um, I'll actually like it, even if it was fake. Um, but yeah, I got me an X-Image 5, which I thought was cool because I picked it up for like 25 bucks, including shipping, by the way. And for those of you that don't know what an X-Image 5 is, well, perhaps you should stay tuned to this video and uh, follow me or subscribe to this channel. And uh, I will be doing some videos on that very soon once I get here, um, possibly a couple of weeks from now. But uh, hopefully the next video that I do for this channel, it will be using it or unboxing the next Image 5. And so that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to fill you all in on. I appreciate some of you who have been following me and are interested in some of my videos that I do. Even though that they are kind of random, weird, awkward, and completely random, I think I said. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, so that's what I wanted to do, a quick follow-up video on. And uh, <laughs> surprisingly, my whole my whole astronomy has pretty much consumed the majority of what I was into um, before I got into astronomy. So I went from, from being a teacher in the cybersecurity to basically now getting into astronomy and having people teach me about... Um, the planets and the universe and stuff like that. So anyways, um, that's pretty much it. So sadly tonight I cannot go out and do my, my, uh, my peace with the universe because, uh, we are facing cloudy nights. So <laughs> I like that site, cloudy nights. Um, so I won't be seeing any planets tonight and hopefully, uh, I'll have some clear skies, uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks after 4th of July. Uh, and I can get out there and check out my next star, my next image five. Uh, for those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically a um, uh, a webcam that has been designed to do amateur, or I should say, astronomy with or planetary imaging with. Uh, it's basically for like taking video and pictures of like Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not too sure about. Um, Arturus, though, I haven't, don't think I've seen any people doing any, um, videos of Arturus with a next image five, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to attempt to do that. I don't know how else it's going to come out. I don't know if Arturus is considered a deep sky, a deep space object or not, but, um, I'm going to give that a try with my telescope. I uh, am actually getting my, uh, computer which is on the side of me. I actually have a laptop, <laughs> a laptop over here that uh, I'm going to give it a try. I don't really like taking tons of stuff out with me because by the time I'm finished stargazing about three, four o'clock in the morning, um, I am so tired that I'm just ready to go to bed once I bring my telescope inside. So I try to take out the least amount of stuff with me so I don't have to bring a bunch of stuff in with me. Some of you guys out there who are into astronomy are really lucky because you're able to just set your telescope up inside the comfort of your home or your your attic or something like that. And you don't have to worry about the kind of stuff that I have to worry about when I go out because I live here in southern Florida. Let's save the rant for last. I live here in southern Florida. Due to the humidity of this time of year, which is summertime, we have humidity and heat, mosquitoes. And stuff like that. So my telescope has to be cleaned almost every night that I take it out because of the mildew, or not the mildew, but the dew, the morning dew, and just like the the the, the temperatures alone just cause my telescope to. I took it out once the last night I was out with it, and literally 
by the time I got done using it and brought it back in, the f- the front lens at the telescope was um, like fogged up. I don't even know how I was seeing planets with it. The tube was soaked like as if somebody took a spray bottle and just sprayed bottled the the tube down. It was like literally that 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 damp from uh from the from the uh the morning dew that was coming out um on a telescope. So anyways, I saved the rant for last. Um I got I like to keep these videos going forever. I could just literally just talk to you guys for like hours, but I know people won't really watch uh, the whole video. Uh but you know for those of you who do cool. Um I'm actually wearing my 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 computer security training hat, my free CST hat. It's actually I actually got the shirt on too, which you guys can't see. There's the shirt, free CST. Ooh, it's my big shirt. You guys can't really see that too well. Yeah, that's my uh my other site that I work on. I believe it's in the description below if you want to check that out. Anyways Clear skies to all of you out there. Happy stargazing. Um, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to me. By the way, you can check me out if you have Instagram. I have a, I have an Instagram account. <laughs> I don't remember what my Instagram name is. But uh, I'm going to pull up Instagram real quick. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram. Normally when I'm out on Instagram, I, um, I share some... Uh, some pictures and stuff like that of Instagram. So it's it's M A T T H E W, the letter H in the middle of Matthew, and then the last part of my name is or my screen name is Knight K N I G H T. Uh, that'll all be in the description below. If you guys have Instagram and social media and stuff like that, you want to follow me. That's cool. Um, I'll have that all in the description below, so you can you can stalk me on that if you guys want to stalk me. <laughs> um, as I started out with Periscope, but I don't know if I'm going to be Periscoping a lot. Um, I may or may not. I tried to do a little bit of Periscoping when I had the alt azimuth mode. I'll try it out, see how things go with the... I'm actually using my telescope the correct way now. I'm actually using it with the EQ uh, settings. For, so if a lot of you who remember my video, uh, I talked a lot about having issues with uh, the equatorial mount. Well, I met up with a guy local here who is from the uh, Southwest Florida Astronomical Society here in Southwest Florida. And I met him, and I took my telescope to see him, and he set it up correctly for me and gave me some tips, which I didn't still didn't understand. But the other, the, the morning after that, I brought it, I had it in the room, and I was playing around with it, and I had just talked to him that night, and I didn't get understand what he was talking about because you're supposed to have your telescope your counterweight is supposed to be facing north towards the north sky. And I don't want to go into all that long rant, but it's supposed to be facing the north sky. And what I've been doing is, is I thought that you had to pick up the tripod once it's facing north and then turn the whole, tel- the whole telescope around to face it south. Every time you wanted to, you had to pick it up physically, pick it up and move it around. But I didn't know that there's actually a, a knob on the one side of the telescope that you loosen it and it'll let the tube spin around in a three, 360 degree. So, that whole time I was trying to figure it out. And apparently the reason why I didn't know that was is because the screw was kind of tight a little bit. So I didn't let the telescope tube rotate around a lot. So if you lock that nut down a little bit to a little bit, it won't fully rotate. I guess that's to keep it from, from vibration and moving around. So it was slightly tight enough that it wouldn't fully turn around. And I loosened that and I was, and I was able to see that the whole telescope tube will actually rotate in a 360 degree and you can actually tilt the telescope any direction you want without actually having to pick up the telescope and even move it. So I was doing a lot of things wrong and I think I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. I haven't fully got the chance to check it out and take it for a test drive to make sure that's correct. But that's, that is basically uh, what I wanted to share with you guys with. Um, a special thanks to Bruce if he ever watches my videos or anybody who knows Bruce from Southwest Florida Astronomical Society. It's great having people like you who are willing to help people like me who are new to astronomy get into this field and and enjoy what space and the universe has to offer us because... Um, 
to be honest, that's my only way of having peace in a messed up world we live in is to go out and check out the planets that are around us and just think, you know, <laughs> these planets have been around longer than we have been around and they're still here with us to this day. And we can actually go out there and, and look at these planets and, you know, think everything that we have that we're able to to be around to see these things right now. And uh, that's basically the way that that's what I like to do is, is the world we live in today is a little messed up. And it's a great way to find peace. And it's a great way to, you know, take something off your chest whenever you've had a hard work day or stressed out day. It's a really great day. Anyways, I got people shooting off fireworks because we got 4th of July and just two days. Everybody who's in America and around the world, have a happy 4th of July and uh, stay safe out there. And uh, feel free to check me out on the social networks if you want. I put all my social networks for all the social networks that I hang out on. Um, and if you want to follow me on them, cool. If you don't, no big deal. Again, clear skies to everybody out there.